that's why I talk about these things. That's why I stay open with you guys. Because not only is this vlog for you guys, but it's for me, for my memories. This is my memory that I want to keep to say where we have been. I'm always optimistic. Every morning I wake up optimistic. We're hopeful for a better day. We're gonna get through this. I'm praying by the fire, fire, fire. It's burning with desire, desire, desire. My love will take you higher, higher, higher. Becoming victorious. Hey. Hello. Minion family. All I'm gonna say is OMG. Um, to elaborate, I kind of felt like a dust storm in some Laffy Daffy today. It was probably one of the hardest, roughest days I've had in a long, long time. And if you don't ever believe a word I say, believe this. Your comments helped me get through the day today. Um, started off rough. And when I mean rough, I mean there's like lots of onions in the house. Um, re if you notice a couple of the videos that uh, the hashtag track shadow. shaving their head yeah that was a different kind of rough and then uh, had a different kind of rough at the hospital which made it difficult very difficult just the heat and it's almost the end of the month a lot of stuff happened to go out the door blah 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 just no It was a tough one, but I got through it. Definitely with your help. I almost went home a couple times, and I just, you know, thousands or a thousand miles separates me from my family. And when you need them, and they need you, and there's nothing you can do, it's, quite difficult, but we will survive. Hey Minions, how's everybody doing today? Today is Friday. As you can tell, I'm exhausted and tired. Um, Elijah's vitals are doing good. His he's, rash is going away. We took him off one of the antibiotics and switched over. That means that he was having allergic reaction to that rash. It's looking a whole lot better today. Um, his sodium levels went down significantly, so we have to stop the, hold on, car, loud truck. Um, we had to stop the nutrition because we were giving him nutrition, IV nutrition called TPN, because um, he hasn't eaten in a week, and so... Um, we had to give him some TPN, but his sodium levels went down too low, so they're do adjusting that. We're giving him a little bit more sodium in his um, hydration. Um, also, his counts went back down. They were climbing up, and then they went back down. I really believe that all of this is due to the T-cells. His body realizes there's a ton of alien type of cells. <laughs> I see you peeking around the corner there. Yeah. So right now we're at the Hold moment. on, let me finish what I was saying and then we can go talk. Um, so there are uh, alien type of cells, um, or his body just is not used to these T cells and I think he's just having an adverse reaction to it. So anyway, I'm lack of sleep, I'm extremely tired. So here's the ordeal. I need a break from the hospital. Um, the atmosphere and everything going on with it is really bring me down. I'd love to have Elijah with us, but he can't, obviously. So Kaden and I are... At the mall! We went to the mall, and um, we're just gonna have a 
day with just Caden and I and see what happens while we're at the mall. I know I have to go to Hot Topic yep. to pick up some things that I ordered online to send to this store. So um, we're gonna go definitely go to Hot Topic. My favorite. Why can't I can't miss out on Hot Topic while I'm here? I want to go to Red Robin for lunch. Red Robin. All right, we can sit down for Red Robin for lunch. Yeah. So they'll call me if anything changes or if there's anything serious. But right now his vitals look good and I'm okay with stepping away. He's out. I mean, he's under so much medication that he's sleeping a lot. So he'll be okay without us for an hour or two. So here we go. You know what? After the day I had, I think I need to go see the Colonel. FaceTime the family for a little while. Very emotional. Very needed. Um, man, it's hard to see Elijah like that. Especially different camera angles. And I'm just so exhausted and wore out. I think I need some chicken. So it's only about 10 minutes down the road. I'm gonna give me some. Are you really ready for some straight up bull crap? The most important segment of yesterday. The whole reason why we had straight up bull crap. Missing clip. My fault. Yell at me, but here it is. Hello minions and a beautiful hot day to you, hopefully. There's only 107 today, which it's very hot, but actually what, well, yeah, it was hot. But have I got another episode of some straight up crap for you. And if it don't make you feel like a tub of cottage cheese on a jungle gym, there's something wrong with you. And today's straight up bull crap comes to you all the way from South Dakota where scientists have spent 10 million dollars on a search for invisible dark matter. Okay guys, we just got done at Red Robin and um, it was good. I had a chicken with salad and I got avocado. Pizza. You I got pizza and fries. And look at his new hat. Turn around, let's see it. Bling. Got it from the new anime store. There's a new anime store here that Elijah loves. Uh, but Kaden got a new Link hat, which is cool. Now we're- Nintendo lets, never lets anybody down. That's Nintendo never lets anybody down. That is awesome. I'm glad you think that way. You hear that, Nintendo? As if anybody from Nintendo is watching. <laughs> um, okay, the next place we are stopping at... Hot Topic. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, in Hot Topic. And Dad, I'm getting this. Daddy's little monster. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> So I'm getting that, that's really cool. It's a Harley Quinn DC comic character. She wears those kinds of things. But the shirt says Daddy's Little Monster. I thought it was appropriate. <laughs> so we're back here in Hot Topic. Woo -woo! Our favorite clients, or what do you call you guys? Cashiers, yeah. managers? What are you guys, are you manager? You guys are here all the time. They're managers. Yeah. They're awesome. <laughs> that, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. How you doing? <laughs> That's what my husband says. It's been a really long day. Yep, we're at Safeway shopping for snacks. We're at Safeway. Yep, what he said. Shopping for some snacks. Um, trying to stay awake. It's really hard. We just left his bedside. When we get back to the Ronald McDonald house, 
we're gonna talk for a second and I'll explain everything that's going on with Elijah. It's been a really, really um, rough week. Just doesn't seem to be lighting up, um, having a hard time emotionally. So we'll talk about that when we get back to Ronald McDonald House. Ooh, look at these. Huh? The cake balls, the frozen cake balls. See, that's all I've been wanting to eat is such unhealthy things because I'm going through a lot of stress. All I want to do is find all the unhealthy comfort foods and just down. Look at, I'm passing it all up right now, guys. I'm being a good girl. Although I do have some ice cream in the freezer at the Ronald McDonald House. That's another reason why I'm passing it up. Um, anything else? Let's see, let's keep looking. Caden's being such a good helper and pushing the cart for me. Yep. He's being a good boy. Oh, here's the juice aisle. Let's get some juices. Yeah, I wonder what's next. Well, I think we should get some Capri Suns. And I also want an apple juice, just in case. Okay, you can have an apple juice. Why don't you put that one back and we'll get the juice boxes? Do you like the apple juice boxes? We'll look about more like both. Oh. I know you guys like the splash coolers and mountain coolers. I'll take care. What about for Elijah? Why don't you get him a splash cooler? They're on sale today. Put those at the bottom, at the very bottom. Definitely need him. I definitely need new cereal because I'm out of my crate. You need new cereal. You don't want any raisins? Why do they have these aisles? Go away. Mama stressed out. No, I never said you could get those. <laughs> Mommy is stressed out right now and I cannot be looking at this stuff. No, that's hard candies. I, didn't, I can't have you having card candies. You'll choke on them. Knowing you. It has to be chewies. Chewies. There you go. Slow down, slow down, take your time. Don't throw it on there. Okay, first of all, I have a Facebook page for Elijah. Elijah Kick and Neuroblastoma. The description, or the, I always say the description. <sighs> the link is in the description below. In the look in the description box. I know some people don't read it, but look there. All our information's there. You can follow our updates every day or whenever I need to update on Elijah before seeing our vlog about it. Um. I updated on Elijah's page that uh, his sodium levels are too low. We can't give him sodium pills because it'll make him more nauseous. Well, Elijah's stomach is extremely nauseous. It is not healed. And the doctors are actually baffled as to what's going on. So they're doing some in-depth research to see if there is another neuroblastoma that went on to this study. If it was too much, or I mean, if there's another kid that went through this and there was too much uh, symptoms, too many symptoms. Now, here's my thought. We don't know if it's the whole thing, but this is my mama's thought. Um, is that maybe too many T-cells is a little bit toxifying? Because this is under a study and we're on phase one study for neuroblastoma. Maybe it's too toxic to put that many T-cells into a child's body. Now, I had stated in the video of me explaining what the T-cells are, um, that he is the first child under the third generation to get more T cells than most neuroblastoma kids. So they, it's really all a research trial study and I'm gonna bring this up to the doctors tomorrow morning and see what their thoughts are after I find out what they had found out when they do their research. My thought process is a little bit different than what the doctors are, but I'm thinking maybe 
uh, its toxicity levels are too high to have that many T cells injected into your body. I mean, he had adverse uh, effects right off the bat, right when they were injected. Of course, the DSMO, which is a preservative, is what supposedly makes you really nauseously sick, and he just never recovered from that. Um, but of course, um, today they said that after day seven, because it's been a week now, after day seven, um, he should start recovering from the T-cell therapy injection. So um, we're taking a long, it's taking a really long time to recover from the T-cell therapy injection. So I'm hoping to start seeing some good news because it's really honestly so hard. Honestly, it is so hard to stay strong. I absolutely hate seeing him suffer. <laughs> and right now I'm just so vulnerable to every emotion because what mother wants to see their child this sick? <laughs> he hasn't eaten a week and he's on nutrition and his counts are just jumping up and down and he's refusing to eat because it hurts so bad to eat he can't even he won't even drink I won't even show him right now because it's just way too heartbreaking even for me and I just want to reassure everyone that we're going to get through this. We always get through this. It's just really hard right now to go through it. It's hard to go through it. It's like climbing that mountain and in the middle of the mountain you start falling backwards and rolling backwards down to the bottom to try to get back up to the top again. But you know Elijah is a fighter. <laughs> He truly is a fighter and I can see it, but I could also see the pain in his eyes and the suffering in his eyes and it hurts so bad. I am so sorry. I like to document everything. I like to make sure when I, with my videos here on YouTube, all our vlogs, some of them are sad, but I can look back on this day and say, look what we have been through and look where we are now. And look how strong we came out of it at the end. That's why I talk about these things. That's why I stay open with you guys because not only is this vlog for you guys, but it's for me, for my memories. This is my memory that I want to keep to say where we have been. And to see how strong Mr. Drek Shadow is. It's really tough right now. Um, thank you to all the new subscribers who just subscribed. <laughs> I'm sorry you're catching us on a bad time. But thank you for sticking around. Thank you to everybody who supports us. Thank you for sticking around even through the bad times. It's really hard right now. I would like to ask, I always ask a thumbs up if you like this video, but I always want to ask thumbs up for support. And, um, we love you guys so, so much. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully it'll be a better day tomorrow. I'm always optimistic. Every morning I wake up optimistic. We're hopeful for a better day. We're going to get through this. Love you guys.